My friends, I feel very small standing here. <laughs> small because, and relieved that I'm the only man who's been Chancellor here. Because in fact, this quartet reflects the strength of Brooks. And the strength of Brooks is women. The women students, the women staff, the women administrators. And yes, the men are good too, but they need the women. The women are wonderful, and I believe if you were standing here, you would see what these two architects, Richard and John, uh, dreamt would be. You look along here, and there are silhouetted men and women, silhouetted men and women, they live full post-eclipse uh, sunlight, uh, men and women, men and women. Look at this cascade of people all over the building. It's an absolutely wonderful, natural crucible in which this place can thrive. And being a hack, I spent a bit of time this afternoon, and as I was evading the selfies, I was just moving around, asking people how it worked for them. And what surprised me was that people said they came to work here. They actually come to sit down and uh, do their reading, do a bit of online, do a bit of nattering, do a bit of, you know, just relaxing, which we have to do as well as study. I, it just seems to be a very perfect space in which everybody could do whatever they want to do. Or within reason. Uh, and then the, the, space, the enclosed spaces are just dramatic and wonderful. I confess I missed the gymnasium, you know, I mean that's where we used to do degree ceremonies. And we, still will. We, well, maybe you still will, but there wasn't anywhere as beautiful as the place we were just in. And mentioning the place that we were just in, I heard one of the most inspiring speeches I have ever heard delivered by a man or woman. This woman your new Chancellor, our new Chancellor, Catherine, is the most inspiring speaker. She had no notes. She delivered the most gorgeously coherent, uplifting, inspiring, logical, and wonderful speech. And I urge you, if you weren't here uh, to actually hear it, do go to the website, do go to Facebook, wherever it is. This thing needs pushing around the world. It's a most beautiful encapsulation of ambition and of inspiration. It's a heavenly thing. I mean, you've done a lot of thinking while you were wrote. You really have. <laughs> you know. And then I think, oh, I really want to do this to get me to think about, you know, the, the meaning of this thing. Oh, God, it's so exciting. It's absolutely wonderful. I want to congratulate the, the architects too because they got one national and three regional RIBA awards. It was in the Sterling Prize top 15, should have been the top, frankly, in my view, but I'm biased. I think it is a heavenly building, which is actually made, it's both functional and beautiful. And, and it is the star of the centerpiece of, uh, of Brooks University. It's a really wonderful thing, and I feel incredibly honored to be allowed to talk about it in any form. Um, but the real test of any building is what people say about it. And I've said what students say about it, but I've also been talking to staff, to governors, and I think everybody, every one of us is incredibly proud. And this, I know you're going to think I'm a woman fanatic, but I am a bit, but, uh, but in, in all conscience, there's another woman I want to, to mention, and that is Janet Beer, because her leadership, her drive, her ridiculous dreams of, of what could be done have been delivered, and they've been delivered by her energy and her teamwork and her team building and getting everybody to deliver of their best. She's a remarkable woman, and I think we should applaud her while we're here. And now I'm delighted to hand over to the wonderful, outgoing Chancellor.